Hey Chuck, this is uh, Alex uh, from Pittsburgh, California. This is my uh, 2008 Crown Vic, and uh, I had a pending code for a uh, engine coolant temp sensor, and um, I uh, looked at your video about where the uh, sensor was located, but for some reason on mine, um, there is no sensor there which is a uh, kind of uh, confusing. Um, I changed the thermostat and I cleared the code and so far um, the code has not come back. So, I mean, maybe I fixed it, but I'm still kind of curious as to why this one does not have an engine coolant temperature sensor. So uh, any insight would be greatly appreciated. Thanks in advance. Hey guys, welcome back. Today's viewer question is from Alex from Pittsburgh, California. And he left me a pretty good question because it applies to all Panther cars. Crown Vic, Grand Marquis, Town Car, P71, P7B from 2007 to 2011. And he left me a question on a previous video I made called P0128 ECT Sensor Service Literature Description and Diagnosis. And just to recap his question, he says, I have a 2008 Crown Vic LX with a pending P0128, and the ECT sensor is not in the location you show. I bought the car two months ago, and the seller showed me a repair invoice showing the e ECT sensor was replaced. I would like to test the sensor like you show to see if it's bad, and I already replaced the thermostat. So uh, on that video, the car that I had in the garage at the time was my 2004 Crown Vic, and that's what this is. I didn't use my 2010 Mercury Grand Marquis, and that's closer in year to what Alex has. So in that video, I show uh, where the, uh, the, e the EC ECT sensor is, and it's right here on the, uh, near the manifold. And on his 2008, it's uh, missing, it's not there. And so uh, the reason why it's not there is because it doesn't exist. Uh, in 2007 to 2011, Ford uh, discontinued or got rid of the ET, ECT sensor and they used what is called an inferred sensor. And what that means is uh, they figured out that they have uh, so many other sensors on the car uh, they can use uh, one, two, or a combination of many other sensors to create an inferred sensor uh, for the engine coolant temperature. And in this case, uh, from 2007 to 2011, they use the cylinder head temperature sensor. And that's going to be this sensor right here. There's the plug, there's the wire. And it goes all the way down the, underneath the uh, intake manifold right there. And uh, this, infer this inferred sensor, this is not the first time they've done this. If you've ever seen the code P0106, Manifold Absolute Pressure Barometric Pressure Circuit Range Performance. If you've ever seen that code on your Crown Vic, uh, usually the first thing you do is you come out here and you try to find the map sensor to find out what's wrong with it. And you come to find out it doesn't have a map sensor. And the reason why it doesn't have a map sensor is because it uses a combination of the, uh, the, uh, the DPFE sensor. And that's uh, this thing right here on the back of the EGR valve in combination with the MAF sensor, MAF mass airflow sensor and it uses those two sensors to make a calculation and then it can uh, infer what a map sensor would be manifold absolute pressure so that's so alex that's what that's where your ect sensor is it doesn't exist and it uses an inferred sensor now as far as testing it uh, all you'll i already show i already made a video on how to test the uh, cylinder head temperature sensor and all you'll need is a basic uh, voltmeter with ohms 
and then you're going to uh, disconnect the sensor and then you will uh, you're going to compare the uh, the resistance values with this uh, chart right here you'll see you'll have some voltages and resistances and then you'll have a line here a, a graph showing on what they should be so I've already made that video I'll put a link to that video down below and uh, if it turns out your cylinder head temperature temperature sensor really is bad I will uh, put the uh, part number for that down below my service literature has it right here and uh, they're going for $32 at, at my local Ford dealership and I saw that they're only uh, $27 on Amazon and uh, since we're on the subject of uh, component lo location uh, it really helps to have uh, service literature and here is a copy uh, I printed this for the 2005 Crown Vic and it's got a picture of the engine here and it tells you where all these sensors are so if you ever want to know uh, where a component is on your car uh, it really helps to have this dealer level um, auto repair service literature and if you want to get this uh, I made a video on how you can get this for free and it works for every car from, from uh, 1974 to current all year make and model so I'll put a link to that video down below all right uh, once again I want to thank Alex for the great question uh, that's pretty much it thanks for watching we'll see you next time bye bye